a group of astronauts is on a mission to investigate a mysterious black sphere that began to orbit Mars. What happens on the ship when the entire crew wakes from hibernation to discover that the sphere is broadcasting the word of God? Let's find out. The movie opens with a view of the Achilles ship moving in space. Inside it is revealed that there are six crew members who are hibernating their way through the journey. One hibernation pod opens, and the lady inside wakes up. The AI assistant on the ship informs her that the hibernation has been terminated. Eventually, the others wake up, and the AI informs the crew to proceed to their quarters. They all proceed to a different side of the ship, and it is clear that they are all a little dizzy, indicating that their bodies still need to adjust after all that hibernation. In a short time, they notice that their bodies are aging a little, this suggests that they have spent some time in hibernation. The first lady that wakes up is revealed to be Carla. She verifies her identification on the system and goes into her quarters. She reflects on some memories from the past, and it is clear that she is still healing from some kind of loss. Later on, the AI informs the crew members to gather on the commander's deck within 30 minutes. By the time Carla arrives at the deck, the others are already there, and they appear to be having a swell time talking about each other. Carla goes to the glass and sees they are close to their destination. With only 16 hours left to arrive, their journey of over 8 months is about to end. The ship's commander brings up the conversation about their next course of action. He pulls out the hologram and shows them the data they picked up from the mysterious sphere. They ponder on what it could be as they have not come across anything like it before. Another officer calculates the trajectory of the ship and finds out that there is an object from that direction that is approaching them. At the current pace, said object would hit them in about 8 hours. They receive a holographic message from Vance, a private executive back on Earth. He asks them what they have discovered about the sphere, but they have nothing new to report. He puts more pressure on them by saying that the world is waiting to hear the truth about their research mission. The object hits the ship quite earlier than they had calculated. The impact is not heavy, but it notably cuts off all connections of the ship with the Earth. They check and realize that it is something different that has hit them, and their ship is still approaching the moving object. In time, they discover that the object that hits them is actually some kind of message. Carla immediately gets to work on decoding the message. She discovers that it is a repeated casting of the word Deus, which is a Latin word for God or a deity. This sparks an uproar. Some of the crew are scared and want to return home, while others insist on going to the sphere to find out more. The majority wins, and they will follow the commander to continue their mission. Later, they all gather and discuss the different possibilities as regards the sphere. One man points out that he grew up with a Catholic mother and did not believe he ever heard her talk about a god related to a sphere. Another crew member steps up and reminds them that they are all explorers, as such, they must face whatever awaits them on the sphere fearlessly. At this time, the object is only a few minutes away from the ship, so the AI assistant informs all the crew members to gather at the commander's deck. They gather together, but Carla begins to hear voices and feels ill, so she returns to get some rest. The others realize that one of them is missing. They are worried because he had been paranoid earlier and insisted that he wanted to go home. They split up and go in search of him. One of them finds him making marks all over his body with a knife. She is terrified but isn't fast enough as he catches her and kills her. Carla and the others rush in the direction of her screams and find only her dead body. Catching Carla unaware. The killer grabs her. Luckily, the commander arrives in time to shoot him from behind. Carla is certain that the commander is keeping some sensitive information from the rest of the crew and demands to know what it is. But he only says that he is simply following orders like she is. The ship is now three hours away from the sphere. On the commander's orders, they disengage from the Achilles ship with a smaller space vehicle and head towards the sphere. When they land on the sphere, Carla notices a strange structure on the surface. However, they proceeded to set up communication with Earth. They speak to Vance and inform him of the strange structure. He informs them that 10,000 of that same structure appeared all over the Earth. They figure out that it might be some kind of alien invasion and that their only hope is if the crew can successfully find answers that would explain what was going on. The surviving crew members exit the space vehicle except for the commander. He stays behind because he has to guide them from the inside. The crew members outside approach the structure, which was beginning to open up. On a closer look, they discover that it is some kind of gate and a human-like figure coming out. 
it introduces itself as an envoy to the Creator and informs them that they have been chosen for this. One of them must pass through the gate to experience the edge of existence. Carla volunteers to do it. As she enters, everything fades away, and she wakes up in a city with a beautiful landscape and golden structures. For some reason, she reunites with her daughter, who had died shortly before she agreed to come on this mission. Suddenly she wakes up back in the space vehicle and is confused about how she got there. The commander explains that she came back from the gate in a weakened state, so they had to bring her back to the vehicle. Vance comes online and asks Carla about her experience. She narrates everything but leaves out the part about her daughter. Vance catches on that there is something Carla is keeping to herself. He then decides to disengage the Achilles ship from the sphere's orbit remotely and gives them 30 minutes to wrap things up. But Carla wants to return to the gate to experience the city again. When she asks where the others are, she is told that they died due to a malfunction in their suit. She finds this suspicious but does not press it any further. She gets up and begins going through the files of all crew members. She also finds out that the commander and Alf are in on something. She holds them at gunpoint and questions them but is interrupted by Vance. Vance orders her to reveal whatever truth she is hiding because things are getting worse for people on Earth. As she gets distracted by Vance, the commander seizes the opportunity and charges at her. They struggle with a gun, but she shoots him dead, only to realize that she has grazed herself in the process. She is now left with Alf, who surprisingly tends to her wounds. Carla and Alf inform Vance that they intend to return to the sphere and destroy it. It is at this point that he reveals the truth. He tells them that the sphere is actually a self-replicating biomechanic material built by his company. The whole idea of the sphere is that when it appears on the earth, people would not mind going into it. According to him, in 30 years, the earth would be overpopulated, and that would make the planet inhabitable. They estimate that about 15 million people would willingly walk through the sphere and that it would kill them instantly. Carla does not believe that so many should be killed in order to save the world. She is angry to learn that Vance had a hand in the accident that killed her daughter because he knew it was the only way she would join the mission. She insists she will expose him by returning to Earth and telling the truth. To stop her, Vance remotely activates the self-destruct protocol of Achilles' ship. They head to a mini spaceship and eject themselves just in time before the Achilles explodes. Ulf realizes that someone has to go back to Earth, so he leaves the ship and locks the airlock. This would force Carla to leave him behind on the sphere and return to Earth while he would stay behind and manually detonate the device that would destroy the sphere. The movie ends with Carla reluctantly returning to Earth while Ulf sacrifices himself for the human race. We hope you enjoyed this recap. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell, so you don't miss upcoming videos like this.